The F-35 is added to War Thunder. Well, no, no, no. This is not an F-35, but it looks like one, at least from this part down. And kind of not, actually. Well, hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe. And today we're going to take a look on the new Harriers. And what I'm, why I'm even saying new Harriers? Because we have two Harriers to take a look. The Sea Harrier FA-2. And the AVB, the AV-8B Plus. Why? Well, the AV-8B Plus also got a new missile. So we're going to take a quick look onto it. We're going to play with both of them um, in a custom battle. But before, look at this. This is a very interesting aircraft, I gotta say. It is a normal Sea Harrier, okay? Very similar to the older one. But he has some upgrades done to it. The first one is, of course, the Blue Vixen Raider. That we're going to check it out. And the second is the payloads. So you can actually take four AM-20s. The weird part about this aircraft is that you have to choose between AM-9s or two AM-9s in the outer pylons or one AM-20, which is also a very, you know, problematic choice. Um, and then you have to choose between a cannon and an AM-20 as well. So... Although a very high tier and a very capable aircraft, you gotta be careful on what you choose. Personally, I would choose something like this probably, because at this BR 12.3, the cannon, yes, it's going to be very powerful, but let's be honest, guys, you are going to be facing MiG 29s, F 16s, you know, SU 27s, F 15s. You're not gonna win in a dogfight against most of these normally. I mean, you can, but it's it's down to the player. Normal players are probably not going to do that. And the missiles will carry these aircraft. It's very similar to what we talked about it in the F4F ICE, right? It's an aircraft that you don't want to get into dogfights. So the Sea Harrier, it's kind of going to be like that. So let's get to a custom battle and we can talk about the, um, the uh, AV-8B Plus with the AMO-20s later. So here we go, guys. I'm not gonna use cannons. Look at the cockpit of this thing, man. <laughs> it's a much more modern cockpit, isn't it? And it's a very cool aircraft. It really is. Like, um, it's a fun Harrier. I gotta say, I love this type of aircraft. I really do. The Raider, look at the Raider. It's a much, much better Raider, isn't it? Like a much better Raider. So let's fire an AMO-20 on him. And another one. No, no, here. No, no, in this one, yeah. So, um, yeah, I love this type of aircraft. The, the commentary on these videos are probably not the best, I gotta say, because I'm actually... Yeah, I got one. Let's see the other one. I'm gonna turn. Come on. And another one. Yeah, that was, that was cool, guys. That was cool. M120 fired. So, as you see, even without any type of... Oh, my God. Missiles in the air. I don't know if it's for me or not. Oh, God. The F-15 is coming up. Oh, my God. No, that was close. Does he have a helmet or something? No, it doesn't. Come on, aim 9 Bring me this. Let's fire an aim on 20 from very up close. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it didn't work very properly. And we got saved. I mean, I was actually doing well in the dogfight. That was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I love. <laughs> like I said, my commentary in this type of video is always bad because. Of course, uh, <laughs> I'm so invested in the gameplay, but I love this type of aircraft. I gotta say, yes, SU-27 SMs, F-15s, they all gonna be very cool, but I gotta say, the cherry for me, the cherry on top of the cake for me will be the third generations or the older aircraft with this type of missile. This is going to be the most fun for me, for sure, because, like, it's just very different, isn't it? To carry an aircraft that doesn't have the performance, but it does have the capabilities, basically, because of the missiles. The missiles are carrying this aircraft, right? So it's it's pretty cool. 
I gotta say, it's pretty cool. So I'm having a blast flying these things. I, I just wish the MiG-21 UPG had the R-77, right? And another one. Oh, he's invincible. He's not doing... Um, he's not shooting the missiles. I'm gonna respawn the guys there. I'm just focused on the, the gameplay. But yeah, very, very fun. As you see, and yeah, it feels like... Oh, uh, oh. Uh, that was really weird. I'm gonna get killed. No, no, no. Uh, okay, I'm fine. Uh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I don't have flares anymore. <laughs> or chef in this case, but... Um, yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun, I gotta say. But yeah, and... You know, you kind of have an, uh, uh, like a, an idea over here of how kind of things can work in the game when they are at it. Because... You know, even though I don't, yeah, have you seen, I don't have a cannon, but I'm being able to actually maintain a properly good, um, you know, combat capability without it. And that's going to be the case for all the the Fox 3 launchers that are third generations or older aircraft, right? Uh, it will be aircraft that, yeah, you don't have a lot of things to do and... Um, that you can do in a dogfight or in a situation that you can actually win when you don't have the missiles and stuff. But in a general sense, <laughs> missile fighting missile, um, you still have the capabilities of actually doing a lot of damage to the targets, right? I gotta say, this thing doesn't have a lot of flares without the... B oh, I, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh... Yeah, I'm gonna change the the actual um, loadout actually afterward after this because uh, I don't have a lot of flares. I don't. I really don't. Uh, and if you take these, you can take more flares, but you lose a missile. So this is an aircraft of kind of choices that you have to do in the loadout. A lot of choices. If you take the cannons, you lose some of the ammo twenties. If you take one cannon, you lose the capability of having. A lot of cannons, but then you win one missile that guarantees you maybe one kill if you use it correctly. You can take two AIM-9s, but if you want to, you have to take one AIM-120 that, like, I mean, two AIM-9s can guarantee two kills, AIM-120 only one. But then you don't have a lot of flares, so maybe take one AIM-9 and then countermeasures. So it's a lot of choices and no air-to-ground capability on this thing, which is pretty cool at the same time. But... You know, it's it's different. For a 12.3, I think it's fine. The BR is kind of okay, you know. If it was a higher tier, this would be a problem. But since it's a lower tier, it, it doesn't matter too much, right? Let me fire an on 20 It's locking the radar. The missile, actually. Okay, the missile is going towards him. I'm gonna just do a defensive turn over here. Just to make sure he doesn't... Fire onto me, he's already firing, so yeah, I got him. So as you see, you can still do well, you know, you just have to be smart about where you are shooting and stuff like that. Don't expect, this thing is, I don't know if you're going to fly high with this thing because it doesn't have the performance, you know, but still it can be very, very fun. I think that guy is... Oh, FPS drops. Yeah, that guy is um, invincible, if I'm not mistaken. Is there a guy behind me? Oh, I got one. Oh, how did I kill a friendly? Oh my god. Oh my. Boy. Jesus, I'm dead. That was a very honest reaction, actually. But, uh, yeah, let's try it out a little bit uh, on the hangar and the AV-8B Plus as well. Uh, because all of these aircraft, they're pretty fun. Um, again, I mean, you have to be careful. But let me save this replay just to have a, a thumbnail afterwards. Uh, but, yeah, again, you have to choose between many types of, of things over here. And you will die more. But remember, this is a 12.3. You will face some 11.3s, 11.7s from time to time with M120. So the performance, you know, that this aircraft lacks doesn't mean too much. So this would probably be the the actual loadout that I would probably take in a higher tier match. 
just because of the chaff and flares because this thing doesn't have a lot of them uh, so you lose a little bit of combat capability only two aim nines but you gain on survivability at the end of the day it's better to have four kills and stay alive than trying to get six kills maybe <laughs> Uh, or having more options to kill the target that you are trying to kill and basically die trying to defend yourself, right? So let's just test fly it because if we really want to uh, get a shot out of the carrier takeoff over here. So yeah, again, the cockpit much more modern than the older Sea Harrier. Uh, the, everything is a much more modern version of the older aircraft, right? You have the web. We are taking up from the like, Royal over here I know pretty easy it's not very heavy and yeah pretty fun so very very cool and now I have a lot of flares with this loadout look at this so yeah maybe for the survivability is just better to actually have that I don't know you tell me would you like to actually use the cannons or the Emo 20s or the Emo 9s with the flares or oh my god they crashed <laughs> Uh, or the double aim nines uh, or something mixed maybe so yeah let's take a look on the av8b plus have the av8b plus and this is a completely different aircraft a completely different project that came from the same project but the wings are different it's made more out of composites and the radar is very much different although they behave in the same manner right now kind of let me see the range of them i have to check the radars and stuff but yeah, uh, the, um, the APG-65 has a little bit more range, uh, so it, it should be a little bit better of a radar. Not that it matters too much, but, uh, you know, these radars outrange the missiles anyway. Uh, but it's good to have an extra range. But as you see in the loadout is where the thing changes, right? Because you can take the GAL-12 over here, which is, a, my, in my opinion, a much better gun than the, 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 the Aidens, right? Uh, and then you can take the um, Amon 20 over here and the A9 and it's fine, you know. The thing is that you don't have many options. It's good and bad at the same time. It's bad because you don't have the options of carrying more A9s or more flares or anything like that. Uh, you already have plenty, to be honest. You don't need 300 and something in an aircraft such as this. But still, it's good to have the options sometimes of the countermeasures. But still, the main thing is that you don't have the option of carrying more AIM-20s or more AIM-9s, you know. Uh, the only advantage over this is that you have the, um, the gun, you know, safely added there because it's the only place that the gun goes and nothing else goes there, right? So, yeah. This is basically the loadout that you should take in an air battle. Nothing else kind of can help you more with this. You cannot take more aim 9s which is kind of odd. I mean, why don't you have the ability to carry more aim 9s or even 20s over here? Maybe there is a blast kind of situation that really doesn't help you. But yeah, as you see, you can only take bombs in here and then the lightning pod in the middle, right? So it's, it's kind of fixed the way that it is. So let's fly... Oh. Let's fly a little bit again with the AV-8B+. So as you see, the aircraft is obviously an AV-8B, so it's completely different. The wings, everything like that, the performance of it should be a little bit better, I think, in a turning capability. Everything else should be pretty much the same. Uh, the main difference in the weapon system is the choices that I told you guys about. But also, um, other things like, for example, um, the... Hold up, let me fire this missile. The, um, oh my god, there's a target behind me? Oh, come on, I spawned in, in, a, in a weird way. But um, the other change is basically the ability for you to... The ability for you, the, um, the missile itself, right? Um, the British one is using the Amo 20 b if I'm not mistaken. And this is using the A variant. They don't change much, I don't think. I have to check, but I still gonna do the... Oh my god, I'm so dead. I'm so dead, yeah. I'm just respawning inside of the match already, but... Um, you know, it's something that... Uh, the missiles are a little bit different. You know, so you have to... Have that in mind a little bit. I'm dying a lot right now. Gotta... I gotta be smart about this. But again, you have to be careful because you only have... 
You only... Oh, come on. People are spawning behind me. That's that's not fair. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's the third time almost. Shoot, second time, but the third time that I'm dead in the spawn. Like, come on. Stop spawning behind me. <laughs> come on. I'm gonna spawn behind them now. Maybe. Let's see. If I can. Yeah, there we go. And you still have the gun. That's that's the good part about this aircraft. But not by any means it's a dogfighter. I'm gonna overshoot with a Harrier. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this. Oh. Yeah, th <laughs> that was a cool kill. I mean, this was like a 007 kind of kill with a Harrier, right? Something's shooting at me. Oh my god, that's the guy probably. But, yeah, as you see, if you know, if you have a chance, you can actually win dogfights with these things. It's just that it's not really, like, using normal circ circumstances, right, for uh, dogfights. But, yeah, it's very fun no matter what, right? That's why I think these aircraft are so fun, right? I mean, you you have to, you, like, you need to use different types of ways of dealing with that. Let me just fly around a little bit more and we'll wrap the video up. But, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with these Fox 3s, man. They are very, very fun because they're modern missiles, right? Yeah, old stuff is always cool, but... Oh, my God, the FPSs are just really weird right now. Uh, but modern stuff, this is the stuff that people are using right now in combat, right? So, of course it's cooler. It has to be. Let me... F no? Oh. I think the Amon 20 will get him. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, there's another aircraft. Somewhere here. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think he's gonna miss... Oh, yeah, I got him. Gripen is behind me. Yeah, okay. Nice. So when people stop <laughs> killing me on my spawn, then I can actually do stuff. So yeah, again, these missiles are carrying the aircraft, right? They really, really are. Let's fire one onto him. And then one onto him. For some re Oh my god, somebody shot a missile on me! I almost got him. Got me. Yeah, the good old flying low still works, right? Got one. The second one I think I missed. So yeah, flying low still works, as you saw. So that's good. And again, I mean, I'm wasting missiles over here because of course I don't have a lot of them. Uh, in a real battle, you will get a couple of kills and then you're gonna get killed. And that's it, or you're gonna survive. And But you have to RTB, right? So it's, it's kind of like that and you don't have much of a choice. But anyway, guys, this was it. These are the Harriers with the um, Amon 20s, basically an F-35, no, 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 not really, right, but still, it's very fun to actually have modern missiles on these areas, very cool, see you guys on the next one, make sure to subscribe, and bye guys.